Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc, meaning White Mountain, is the highest mountain in the Alps and the highest in Europe west of Russia's Caucasus peaks. It rises above sea level and is ranked 11th in the world in topographic prominence. The mountain stands in a range called the Grayan Alps, between the regions of Aosta Valley, Italy, and Savoie and Haute Savoie, France. The location of the summit is on the watershed line between the valleys of Ferret and Veni in Italy and the valleys of Montjoie and Arb in France, in the middle of what is generally considered to be the border between the two states. In June 2015, Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi expressed repeated claims on the territory. The Mont Blanc Massif is popular for outdoor activities like hiking, climbing, trail running and winter sports like skiing, and snowboarding. The three towns and their communes which surround Mont Blanc are Courmayeur in Aosta Valley, Italy, and saint gervais les bains and Chamonix in haute savoie France. The latter town was the site of the first Winter Olympics. A cable car ascends and crosses the mountain range from Courmayeur to Chamonix, through the Col du Gion. The 11 km Mont Blanc Tunnel, constructed between 1957 and 1965, runs beneath the mountain and is a major transalpine transport route. The first recorded ascent of Mont Blanc was on August 8, 1786 by Jacques Balmat and the Dr. Michel Pocard. This climb, initiated by Horace Benedict de Saussure, who gave a reward for the successful ascent, traditionally marks the start of modern mountaineering. The first woman to reach the summit was Marie Paradis in 1808. Nowadays the summit is ascended by an average of 20,000 mountaineer tourists each year. It could be considered a technically easy, yet arduous, ascent for someone who is well trained and acclimatized to the altitude. From like Wheel du Midi, Mont Blanc seems quite close, being higher. But while the peak seems deceptively close, La Voie des Three Monts route requires much ascent over two other 4,000 meters mountains, Mont Blanc du Tacul and Mont Midi, before the final section of the climb is reached and the last 1,000 meters push to the summit is undertaken. Each year climbing deaths occur on Mont Blanc, and on the busiest weekends, normally around August, the local rescue service performs an average of 12 missions, mostly directed to aid people in trouble on one of the normal routes of the mountain. Some routes require knowledge of high-altitude mountaineering, a guide, and all require proper equipment. All routes are long and arduous, involving delicate passages and the hazard of rockfall or avalanche. Climbers may also suffer altitude sickness, occasionally life-threatening, particularly if they do not acclimatize to it. The border between Italy and France passes through the summit of Mont Blanc, making it both French and Italian. Since the French Revolution, the issue of the ownership of the summit has been debated. From 1416 to 1792, the entire mountain was within the Duchy of Savoy. In 1723, the Duke of Savoy, Victor Amadeus II, acquired the Kingdom of Sardinia. The resulting state of Sardinia was to become preeminent in the Italian unification. In September 1792, the French Revolutionary Army of the Alps under Anne Pierre de Montesquieu Fessin Sac seized Savoy without much resistance and created a department of the Mont Blanc. In a treaty of May 15, 1796, Victor Amadeus III of Sardinia was forced to cede Savoy and Nice to France. In Article 4 of this treaty, it says, the border between the Sardinian Kingdom and the departments of the French Republic will be established on a line determined to be the most advanced points on the Piedmont side, of the summits, peaks of mountains, and other locations subsequently mentioned, as well as the intermediary peaks, knowing, starting from the point where the borders of Fossigny, the Duchy of Aust and the Valais, to the extremity of the glaciers or Monts Modi first the peaks or plateaus of the Alps, to the rising edge of the Col Mayer. This act further states that the border should be visible from the town of Kamenix and Courmayeur. However, neither is the peak of the Mont Blanc visible from Courmayeur nor is the peak of the Mont Blanc to Courmayeur visible from Kamenix because part of the mountains lower down obscure them. After the Napoleonic Wars, the Congress of Vienna restored the King of Sardinia in Savoy, Nice, and Piedmont, his traditional territories overruling the 1796 Treaty of Paris. Forty-five years later, after the Second Italian War of Independence, it was replaced by a new legal act. This act was signed in Turin on March 24, 1860 by Napoleon III and Victor Emmanuel II of Savoy, and deals with the annexation of Savoy. A demarcation agreement, signed on March 7, 1861, defined the new border. With the formation of Italy, for the first time Mont Blanc was located on the border of France and Italy. The 1860 Act and attached maps are still legally valid for both the French and Italian governments.
one of the prints from the 1823 Sard Atlas positions the border exactly on the summit edge of the mountain. The Convention of March 7, 1861 recognizes this through an attached map, taking into consideration the limits of the massif, and drawing the border on the ice cap of Mont Blanc, making it both French and Italian. Watershed analysis of modern topographic mapping not only places the main summit on the border, but also suggests that the border should follow a line northwards from the main summit towards Mont Midi, leaving the southeast ridge to Mont Blanc de Courmayeur wholly within Italy. Although the Franco-Italian border was redefined in both 1947 and 1963, the commission made up of both Italians and French ignored the Mont Blanc issue. The area from the Torino hut to the summit is under the control of the Italian authority. NATO uses Italian military maps to operate. In the early 21st century, administration of the mountain is shared between the Italian town of Curmayur and the French town of Saint Gervais les Bains, although the larger part of the mountain lies within the commune of the latter. The first professional scientific investigations on the summit were conducted by the botanist meteorologist Joseph Vallet at the end of the 19th century. He wanted to stay near the top of the summit, so he built his own permanent cabin. In 1890, Pierre Janssen, an astronomer and the director of the Mordon Astrophysical Observatory, considered the construction of an observatory at the summit of Mont Blanc. Gustave Eiffel agreed to take on the project, provided he could build on a rock foundation. It found at a depth of less than below the ice. In 1891, the Swiss surveyor Infeld dug two horizontal tunnels 12 meters below the ice summit but found nothing solid. Consequently, the Eiffel project was abandoned. Despite this, the observatory was built in 1893. During the cold wave of January 1893, a temperature of was recorded on Mont Blanc, being the lowest ever recorded there. Levers attached to the ice supported the observatory. This worked to some extent until 1906, when the building started leaning heavily. The movement of the levers corrected the lean slightly, but three years later, a crevasse started opening under the observatory. It was abandoned. Eventually, the building fell, and only the tower could be saved in extremis. The mountain was the scene of two fatal air crashes Air India Flight 245 in 1950 and Air India Flight 101 in 1966. Both planes were approaching Geneva Airport and the pilots miscalculated their descent, 48 and 117 people, respectively, died. The latter passengers included nuclear scientist Homi J. Baba, known as the father of India's nuclear program. In 1946, a drilling project was initiated to carve a tunnel through the mountain. The Mont Blanc Tunnel would connect Chamonix, France, and Courmayeur, Italy and become one of the major transalpine transport routes between the two countries. In 1965, the tunnel opened to vehicle traffic with a length of. In 1999, a transport truck caught fire in the tunnel beneath the mountain. In total 39 people were killed when the fire raged out of control. The tunnel was renovated in the aftermath to increase driver safety, reopening after three years. The record for the youngest person to climb Mont Blanc was set in 2009 by 10-year-old Asher Silver. In July 2014, an American entrepreneur and traveler Patrick Sweeney attempted to break the record with his 9-year-old son PJ and 11-year-old daughter Shannon. They were caught in avalanche, luckily escaped death and decided not to pursue their attempt. In August 2014, an unknown Austrian climber with his five-year-old son were intercepted by mountain gendarmes at 3,200 meters and forced to turn around. On August 5, 2017, nine-year-old Hungarian twins and their mother were rescued from 3,800 meters by helicopter while their father and family friend continued their summit attempt. The summit of Mont Blanc is a thick, perennial ice and snow dome whose thickness varies. No exact and permanent summit elevation can therefore be determined though accurate measurements have been made on specific dates. For a long time, its official elevation was. In 2002, the IGN and expert surveyors, with the aid of GPS technology, measured it to be. After the 2003 heat wave in Europe, a team of scientists remeasured the height on 6 and 7 September. The team was made up of the glaciologist Luke Morrow, two surveyors from the GPS company, three people from the IGN, seven expert surveyors, four mountain guides from Chamonix and St. Gervais and four students from various institutes in France. This team noted that the elevation was, and the peak was away from where it had been in 2002. After these results were published, more than 500 points were measured to assess the effects of climate change and the fluctuations in the height of the mountain at different points. 
Since then, the elevation of the mountain has been measured every two years. The interpretation that the heat wave had caused this fluctuation is disputed because the heat wave is known not to have significantly affected the glaciers above. The height and position of the summit could have been moved by general glacial forces. At this elevation, the temperatures rarely rise above. During the summer of 2003, the temperature rose too, and even, but this would not have been enough for the ice to melt that amount. The summit was measured again in 2005, and the results were published on December 16, 2005. The height was found to be, more than the previous recorded height. The rock summit was found to be at, some west of the ice-covered summit. In 2007, the summit was measured at and in 2009 at. In 2013, the summit was measured at and in 2015 at. From the summit of Mont Blanc on a clear day, the Jura, the Bosch, the Black Forest and the massive central mountain ranges can be seen, as well as the principal summits of the Alps. The Mont Blanc Massif averages nearly 100 fatalities a year. A published estimate suggests there have been 6,000 to 8,000 alpinist fatalities in total, more than on any other mountain. Several classic climbing routes lead to the summit of Mont Blanc. Recent temperature rises and heat waves, such as that of the summers of 2015 and 2018, have had significant impacts on many climbing routes across the Alps, including those on Mont Blanc. For example, in 2015, the Grand Mulets route, previously popular in the 20th century, was blocked by virtually impenetrable crevasse fields, and the Gute hut was closed by municipal decree for some days because of very high stonefall danger, with some stranded climbers evacuated by helicopter. The Mont Blanc Massif is being put forward as a potential World Heritage Site because of its uniqueness and its cultural importance, considered the birthplace and symbol of modern mountaineering. It would require the three governments of Italy, France and Switzerland to make a request to UNESCO for it to be listed. Mont Blanc is one of the most visited tourist destinations in the world, and for this reason, some view it as threatened. Pro Mont Blanc published in 2002 the book La Versant Mar du Mont Blanc, which exposes current and future problems in conserving the site. In 2007, Europe's two highest toilets were taken by helicopter to the top of Mont Blanc. They are also serviced by helicopter. They will serve 30,000 skiers and hikers annually helping to alleviate the discharge of urine and feces that spreads down the mountain face with the spring thaw, and turns it into Mont Marin. Global warming has begun to melt glaciers and cause avalanches on Mont Blanc, creating more dangerous climbing conditions. The highest resolution panorama of the Mont Blanc ever made. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.